all right guys so someone actually requested that i create a vtu site i show you guys how to create a vtu site so um this video i i'm going to teach you how to create a vtu site i actually went out there to add source and finally found this script and uh, that could be used to create a vtu site so i'm going to show you how it works so let's register and see how it works so now you enter your first name so let me just use this password let me use this email so let's use this and I'll continue uh, password one two three four five six one two three four five six again one two three four we fill our option now or if we write okay you can either set it to required or optional so let's see i'll take you guys to the admin right now so but let's do this let's click on register so password must be a listed character so six seven eight seven eight and let's register now everything in this site you can update from the admin so registration successful so let's close that now verification email that we sent to my hosting so yes the email is sent to my hosting please do check your spam folder as well okay let me quickly verify this give me a minute guys all right i just verified the um account right now so i'm going to click close as you can see so this is how it looks so it's actually awkward on desktop right now but you can switch to mover click on inspect and you can see how it looks like on mobile view it really looks very beautiful as you can see so this is how the video set look so you could buy a time you could buy data date card electricity exam peak, cable tv recharge card a time to cash shoulder to bank download app history ad phone profile and all that you can even become an agent so that's it so you click on here and you have a menu other things you can do so this is what you can do right now so i'm going to teach you how to actually create this website in a few minutes so let's get started guys so let's get started so to build a site like that you need just two main important thing your capital and the web hosting so for this tutorial i'm going to be using azura and one thing you should know about this is you want to use a hosting that is strong and powerful so i'm going to be using azura for that for this purpose and with azura you can purchase you can purchase the web hosting plan starting from one dollar per month so 12 months will be like 12 dollar but that being said this is azura so what you want to do now once you visit the site there's a link in the description that will take you to the site all you want to do is to click on this place now you're going to type in your domain name so we can say vt vt data dot com and then we're going to click on search if it is available now mind you for this tutorial i already have a hosting and a domain name i'm going to use but i'm just showing you this process to know e so you understand how this process works now vt data is not available vt data so i'm going to check if it's available if yes it's available i'm going to add it to cart then come to hosting now always ensure you don't pick direct to admin but if you mistakenly pick a direct admin you can always contact them so they can change it to c panel so you come to control panel select the plan you want this first plan should be enough click on order now and then you make your payment once you make your payment you'll be given this hosting panel and hosting panel that look just like this here you can be able to host your website so on the hosting panel you want to look for file manager okay this is your file manager this is where you have to upload the file that you're going to get that will lead to you building the website so i'm going to open this in the new tab i already have it open though so this is it as i told you guys before i already have a domain so this is the domain i'm using now for you you're not going to have this domain attached to your own 
you are going to use this your public underscore html now when we go to the hosting just now as you can see you could add 15 websites to this hosting that is why i choose azura so i have like um currently have like one two i have like four websites here so this is the main where you have to upload your own file after you click on the link in the description to download it so here this is where i'm going to upload my own because i added a different file so let me remove all this so let me move them to trash um okay this is a trash so this is trash so i want to move those files to trash first because i don't need them anymore this is the domain name i'll be using for tutorials so i have to move them so select move select trash slash trash so move the files there so now here is empty so i want to upload the file now the same thing you have to do for public underscore html so you click upload then the file that you got now this is my file so i'm going to drag my file just drag it down upload it here and it's going to upload now the step is very simple you do not need a lot of uh, teaching and everything you do not even need to know how to code so it will just work perfectly all right once it's actually complete like, like this click on back to the site then you extract the file from here you extract the file as you can see so once you're done you open the file you click on this now first thing you download this so you click on download so the second thing is you come here you copy everything here you move it from here so you move it to the main folder of this website so for your own you move it to your public underscore html here will not be public underscore html so but this is mine i'm taking it back so i don't need any other thing there now once you download it you come to your core folder come to models and this model.php you right click on it and click on edit now the folder is open this will connect our database to the website so let's go connect our database now this is where you post your email so let's go connect our database so you go to your cpanel search for database database wizard so you open it in a new tab so then you call it whatever you want to call it one one i'm going to call this one one click on next you can type in whatever you want to type in here it, it doesn't have any restriction just you cannot add full stop so i'm going to copy this i want to use this as a password so i'm going to paste it here paste it again and then click on create users so i'm going to remove this give it all privilege and make changes Okay, then we'll go back to our database now the remember this is what we use for the name this is the username this is the database and we use the same thing for the password so i'm going to replace it here going to put your email here so you can put whatever you want to put support or anything you wish to put where it says support at so you put supports like this and then once you're done with the support you save this 
Now you go to your um, that uh, C panel again. Search for PHP my admin. So this is PHP my admin. You click on it. Okay, you look for the one you created. This is the one you created just now. Now for yours, nothing will be here. So I'm going to click on import. Select file. This is the file. I'm going to click open. And I'm going to click import. Okay, I've done import. Now just come to this system user. Call this, change the name here. So let me call this V3 Design. I'll click on enter that system user right now click on enter now the same thing i'll go for token go for the, the system token because you want to what we are trying to do now is to change the password so come here come to this system token call you whatever thing you want to click and use your phone number so i want to put one two three four five six now this is the admin details so now you cannot visit your site so let's go copy our site name now this is our vtu site as you can see as you can see you can edit everything though so well, let's take it little by little now i we just checked the admin at the beginning of this video so there is not a big deal you can register and go through the admin that is not a big deal so what, what is more important is the uh we we'll just check the user side sorry what is more important is the admin side now remember we change we change the details of the admin here on that system users for v3 design 123456 so you come here v3 design 123456 then you click on login It was one two three four five six you use now, right? Oh, system username. So you change it to what V3 design as well. The one two three four five six. So let's refresh this. So I'm going to remove this V3 design one two three four five six. Okay, login successful. Okay, this is how the admin looks. As you can see, this is dashboard. This is everything in dashboard. Um, this is your user's accounts. You can see your user account, as you can see. You could um, see your subscribers here. That's people that are joining the platform. You could see, you could credit your users from here. Select the action, select credit, select the person's email. You could see the transactions. Uh, you have actually done on the site you could see your sales analysis how much you have made for the day as you can see you see everything and you could send email to your users from here now site settings you could come here and name your site or you want to name your site so i'm going to remove this so you could come here name your site the name of your site your website URL so let's say tutorials so you do what you want to do just come here change this domain and put your domain name so put your bank account details and all that and then you click on update users you just go through the settings item purchase agent fee vendor fee wallet transfer charge bonus these are things that you decide yourself you do not need anybody to decide this for you and with that being said you could come to contact settings and set your contact here how you want people to reach out to you and network settings you could come here enable the ones you want and disable the ones you want so you can enable what you want and disable what you don't want as you see so let's assume you don't want MTN on your site you could disable, disable it now, after site settings, you have API settings. Now, this is the most important setting on this site. 
now this API key to get your API key you have to pick any of these sites attached so PT, uh, Ninja, anything in data, Glad Tiding data, survey data so pick any one attached so assuming you are picking survey data I already have an account with them so let me show you how you do it so I already have an account with them so let me log in While that load you now you get your API key you paste it here paste the same API key here now you still paste the same API key here because you are working with the same API key paste the API key here this same API key so you once you're done with all the API key you click on updates now you ensure you select abbreviates are for all because you are using the same platform now if you want to use um, sabri data for cable you can use survey data for cable and then come here and use um, glad styling for electricity you understand so it's all up to you so you come here to the survey data account now you come to developers api and you copy this authorization token that is your api if you don't know how to use it just click on this documentation page so you click on the documentation page and to show you how to use your api so this is it so if you understand what how api function you should understand this now i'm not going to do that just copy the api key just copy it and then come to your site and paste it here paste it just like that and then you save now to set your payment gateway you come to either monify or pay stack you can set up monify that's if you like monify that's uh, money points uh, payment gateway Set this stack as well. So this is this stack. Now, you already know how to set this one. Now this should not be an issue with you. It's for the first time sake. So you paste your this stack in the IQ. service at time discount so now you want to be editing everything you have here so you want to click on edit so you want to look at you want to look at uh, where you are getting your api from so msn now this is msn sne 135 button and i will see you on 
the next video please join us and hit the subscribe button we would love to see you as a subscriber and we'll see you on the next video so bye for now guys bye bye